Welcome to Electron Online. Another good method to find the kth percentile of a set of numbers of the data set is to use this particular method. Again, we use the same definition, which is still true, that at most k percent of the data have smaller values, and at most 100 minus k percent of the data have larger values. We'll use the same data set of 12 numbers, and we're looking for k63, or the 63rd percentile of the data. So what we're going to do is we're going to find boundaries. We pick a boundary right here and calculate the number of data points to the left of that boundary. Then we move the boundary point to the right and then we calculate the percentage of the points again to the left. And we keep doing that until we reach a point where it's greater than the value that it's supposed to have. We cannot have more than 63% of all the data values have smaller than the point that we pick. So we just keep checking. So okay, we pick this point right here, 50%, it's still smaller, so we pick the next boundary, that's 58%, it's still smaller, then we pick the next boundary, and look at that, 67%, which is greater than 63%. So here's the condition. If the percent that we pick is greater than or equal to 63%, so it could be that it's exactly equal to, which is again a point at which you stop, and then we pick the data directly to the left. In other words, we pick this number, and this represents then the 63rd percentile once we find, get to a boundary that's either 63% or greater than the upper limit for the data points to the left. And so therefore we can say that the 63rd percentile is therefore equal to 8. And that is how it's done. Pretty slick, don't you think?